Okay, Scorpions, this is your quartal readings. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Scorpions. Let's look at your quartal reading. All right, so Scorpion, what we see is happening and transpiring. Um, you are dealing with a lot of people. I see you, Scorpion women, or here, um, you, Scorpion women, are dealing with some sort of an issue with people in power. Um, people in power is finding out what has happened and transpired. Um, I see the energy of uh, um, the King of Wands, whoever this king is, whoever this person is. Uh, um, generosity is the name of the game. So Scorpion, whatever is happening and transpiring, generosity is the name of the game. Um, I see you, Scorpion, or standing in your power. Um, you're standing up against a Leo man, whoever this Leo man is, and whatever that was happening and transpiring. Um, you, Scorpion, are really taking um, the lead and standing up against a Leo man. Um, a lot of you are finding um, the energy of being generous um, to others in order to create some sort of a balance in your world. And um, this is going to be wonderful. A lot of you scorpions are standing your ground. Whatever is happening in transpiring, you scorpions are really standing your ground, showing up for yourself, or showing up people's situation that is happening and transpiring, trying to resolve a, a lot of problems. So, um, you know, a lot of you um, scorpions are going to be very, very generous. And I see the energy of the flying pill, uh, pig. The energy of the flying pig is uh, really opening up your heart and being generous. And I see um, the rest of you are standing your grounds against a um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, man, whoever this man is, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see um, the you guys are using your inner power in order to um, bring balance to issues and situation. So, uh, Scorpion ladies, you're in the reverse, um, whatever is transpiring. Um, I see that um, you uh, ladies wanted some sort of a um, new start. Um, I see you ladies are not going to be successfully with an issue, a problem or a situation, especially women 50 years and older, you could be dealing with people in power. And I see that whoever you're dealing with, with power in power, um, some of you ladies have some sort of a problem with this person. Um, you're trying to balance out some sort of an issue. If you are a manager or a supervisor, I see a lot of you scorpions are having some form of an issue with people in power or your powers. You could be using your powers in the wrong way. But I see some of you scorpion women are going to be standing up against an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man who have created some sort of an imbalance in your world. And you're standing up against this person and showing up this person for what this person have done and the uh, imbalance that this person have created in your world. So um, Scorpion ladies, I see you're really taking back your power. You're really um, taking back your power in a sense that uh, you have seen what this fire sign man have done and how this fire sign man have created a lot of injustice uh, um, for you and uh, your team workers, uh, um, your team players. Uh, um, this person could be a part of your team that has created some sort of an imbalance uh, um, in the team or in balance in your company or in balance uh, um, in your work world. However way this is coming up, I see you Scorpion women are realizing what this person have done and how this person have created a whole lot of issues for you that could have been um, dealt with in another way. Scorpions, I see generosity. People could be very um, generous. Generosity is coming up and generosity is coming up in a way where it's as if uh, managers, people in power, I authority, um, you could be showing the people in your team a sort of uh, underlying energy of uh, positiveness. So um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with your boss. A lot of you are going to be dealing with a, um, a Aries or Sagittarius person. 
Um, whoever this person is, you're standing your ground. Um, I see a lot of work to be done. A lot of you are going to be reclaiming um, um, your powers where people have overgone their powers and have uh, treated you unfairly. And I see a lot of you are going to be taking back your powers. Ladies um, who expect some sort of a, um, a um, you know, getting over a situation, successfully overcoming issues, um, it's not going to be the case because of a, a fireman who have created a lot of issues and problems for you. So in the month of January, you ladies are going to be feeling it the most, um, especially ladies 50 years and older for the rest of you. You could be dealing with your bosses and a whole lot of problems and issue. But ladies, uh, um, 50 years and older, I see some sort of an issue you have been going through. There is no success because they have found out that there was more um, issues, more things that was being affected without um, other people knowing. And they're going down and looking at the details of, of some sort of a problems and issues that was created around you. Then we are looking at the month of February. That's going to be a fire energy managers um, could be having um, issues. Um, managers could be looking for a new employees. Uh, managers are going to be standing their grounds and trying to create a, a better um, a stability for their um, employer, employee. I see a lot of the, you are dealing with managers or a lot of you who are in management position is going to be have to be dealing with some sort of an issue where um, people were let go and you have to find people to refill this position. So I see a lot of you are going to be dealing with that. Then when we look at March, is this a water energy? And this water energy in March is a... Um, balancing you out because what it's doing is basically opening up your heart but at the same time you're standing your ground and this is going to be good because you're going to be realizing that I need to stand my ground in order to overcome certain issues problem and situation that was transpiring a lot of you are going to be having issue with a fire sign man whoever this fire sign man is I see that you're going to be realizing that this man has uh, um, gone over their boundaries in order to create a problem for um, your colleagues or create problem um, for the company or create problems for some sort of a um, business endeavor. And I see um, you Scorpions are going to be releasing yourself or release this person from you. And I see that people in IOPS position, higher positions is going to be helping out uh, um, with this situation so um, be aware of this this is going to be a, a time of uh, finding balance uh, to deal with problems uh, um, these first three months is uh, as if you're uh, taking back uh, um, your powers you're really showing up for yourself you're really letting people know hey um Life is about uh, um, fairness and kindness. And uh, at the workplace, there was some sort of an imbalance of power um, that was created. And I see you scorpions are going to be bringing back this balance in order to facilitate and create better um, personal um, stability for yourself in order to accumulate uh, positive uh, um, um situation moving forward and this is going to be good so square pants i really love this three first months january is going to be water and hair water and hair it's about uh, um you know bringing some sort of an imbalance situation um in balance and creating um positive atmosphere on the work floor and this is going to be um very very good February is going to be having to deal with, uh, um, you know, trying to figure out and get uh, new employees, employee, employee situation where people who had, uh, um, you know, left the company or who have, um, was, you know, let go 
um, you guys are trying to find people who can fill positions. So you're looking for the right people now because those people have, um, you know, create your energies. And uh, now it's time that you're um, rebalancing out so that you can move forward. A lot of you have been considering whether or not to, you have uh, the capacity in order to take the rain and move forward. And in March, you're going to be finding out uh, that that is going to be um, happening for you. So this is going to be good. Whoever this Aries, they are a Sagittarius person is, they are um, in balance. And, uh, you know, whenever these people are in reverse, it's as if look out uh, because they're very much in reverse and it's not in a positive way and especially you women 50 years and older could be dealing with this man and this man has created a lot of problems and issue for you so ladies and gentlemen remember these readings are timeless whenever you want to um find out something and this reading comes up in your feed that means the, the answer is a uh, in the reading it's a timeless um reading so um if you would like to see the extended of this reading um please use the the link below in order to get you um to the other side you can use the blue link and choose for any of the subscription that will help you to move you forward and to help you to understand what is going to be transpiring in these three months i gotta go but i'm saying namaste until next time